All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna burn this uh, image to a piece of cedar board, and I just wanted to show you how the Atom Stack uh, laser uh, does that. So we're over here in Lightburn, and I've got that image imported in. And I've what I've done is I've, I've traced it with the trace feature. And uh, if you're not familiar with that, let's go ahead and import this back in there. So there's the picture. And if you right click it, you can go down to trace, and it will trace the, the image. You can see the purple uh, lines, and there's some adjustments you can do. Um, because tracing is a little better to burn with than it is just like a regular JPEG. So I've got the height set at 6 inches. And I've got it locked so the aspect ratio stays, stays the same, but the width is going to be uh, just a little over four and uh, three quarter. The settings is just going to be fill with a speed of 2,000 millimeters per minute, and the power is going to be set to 25%. Uh, the lines per inch is 254 or uh, 0.1 millimeter. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I've got flood fill off because whenever I looked at the difference between flood fill and just the regular, like right now, if we preview it, it's showing to be about 55 minutes. Well, if I come over here and turn on flood fill, which normally saves you some time, it's 55, 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave flood fill off. Uh, and what that does, if you don't know, is it's supposed to reduce the amount of travel that the uh, laser head makes. See all these red lines? That's where the laser head is going to travel. So if I left it, if I left the flood fill on, it would actually come down here and it would uh, just go back and forth on one area and fill it in and then go to another area and do the same. When you turn flood fill off, now you can see all the red. The laser head is going to travel from all the way from one end to the other as it's painting the uh, the image, and it's going to uh, turn the laser on and off whenever it gets to the spot that it needs to. So I'm just going to leave it like this because it's not really much of a time saver. Oops. Hit okay to that. Uh, I've already got it imported over to the uh, laser, so I'm going to go set the camera up and we're going to get started. Now, here's one that I did a couple days ago. It's only, I don't know, it's about three inches tall. And it, I thought it did a good job for how small it is. And it's, it's actually pretty deep. It's hard for you to tell, I'm sure. But, uh, that is probably, I don't know, close to an eighth of an inch deep. Cedar's not the best wood to burn on, but I happen to have a piece, so I uh, ran it through the uh, planer, and we're going we're gonna to do it. And so... The way I usually do my laser here is I'm, I don't have it hooked to light burn. I've got it hooked up wirelessly uh, through my Wi-Fi, and I send the files to the burner uh, through Wi-Fi to the memory card. That way I don't have to have a computer sitting right here. So we're going to go ahead and go with the 6-inch high version. I'm going to hit position. The, the laser is right where I want it to be. So I'm going to hit position. Hit yes to that. You can frame it. In fact, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't always frame it. If I know that it's right on the money in the center, I'll go ahead and go with it. It's about a half inch from the top. We'll see how close it is to the bottom, and then I may move it over. Okay, so I'm going 
go ahead and hit go, and off he goes. Turned out really good. That was at 2,000 uh, millimeters per second, I mean per minute, and 25% uh, power. And it's probably a sixteenth of an inch deep. Um, and you can see the fine fine lines that it left so all in all that turned out really good I'm happy with that and all this is is a, a cedar picket that I ran through my planer just to just to kind of clean it up I cut it and then ran it through the planer it's a five and a half inch picket I don't know if I can zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in and so you can see how deep this actually is.
the next plan that I'm thinking of doing is engraving something like this and then filling it up with uh, either paint or epoxy, colored epoxy, and then run it through the uh, planer again and see if it'll just take a fine uh, thin layer off and leave just the uh, resin behind or the epoxy behind and that way it'd be whatever color you would want it to be. But all in all, this is the Atom Stack S20 Pro and uh, I think it did a pretty good job. It actually took about 45 minutes. You guys take care.